so you want to make more money. Guys, what's up? It's your good boy, Grizzy Guapo. I'm back at it again for another fire video. Today, I've been, guys, I've been debating doing this video for a long time just because I didn't know how well it would be received if uh, my audience would be into this type of thing. However, I figured this is my channel. You guys fuck with me, so you must fuck what I like. So today, I really wanted to make a video Look, I just did my nails. I just I want to make a video about how to get your bands up, right? So you guys know you see the rap videos, they're flexing, they got all the money. Of course, who wouldn't want all the money? Whether it's you want to be a millionaire, you have that million dollar goal in your mind. Maybe you just want to be financially free, right? You just want to escape the slave nine to five. Whatever it is, right? Everybody could use an extra 100K in their fucking bank account, right? So, that's what today's video is gonna be about. You guys like the blues or the old ones? I like the blues more, but that's just me. So, Rule number one, right? How to get your bands up. First things first, you guys have to understand that getting money, becoming wealthy, becoming rich, it's all a game, right? It's a game of monopoly, right? Who can stack up the most chips? So when, when I say it's a game of monopoly, what I mean is Maybe you don't start off with the same amount of money as everybody else, right? Some people are born into wealth. Some people are born in the hood, yada, yada, yada. With that being said, life isn't fair. But that is what makes it fair for everybody because life isn't fair. You know, like if you could see somebody else's problems, you would be like, oh, damn, I like my problems more and you'd keep your own problems. You know what I mean? Same same type of thing. So you guys have to understand that it is possible for anybody to become financially free, let alone a millionaire. There's like 500 new millionaires made every single day. Look it up. So I don't want to say you guys don't have an excuse, but what I'm saying is get off your ass. I'm trying to put that fire under your ass so you can get up and go do something. I want all of my subscribers to, you know what I mean? become financially free with me, you know? I'll fly you out, we do a vacation vlog, you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. But, um, yeah, so rule number one, it's a game, so you have to have that mindset. Cool, now that you understand it's all just a game, rule number two is very important, very important. You have to have the correct mindset. You have to have the military, uh, <laughs> the millionaire mindset, right? So what is the millionaire mindset? Do you know the difference between an asset and a liability? An asset is something you purchase that brings you money. For example, you buy a car, you put it on Turo, People rent it out from you, you get generate income from that. Or you buy the same car and you drive it to work. That is kind of a in between an asset and a liability that definitely the value goes down. So it's a depreciating asset. However, it could be an asset because it gets you to and from work. Another great example of an asset is a real estate property, right? Let's say you get, I was in the, uh, I was in the army. So let's say I used my VA loan I got from the army and bought a four unit, uh, apartment building and I rented all four of those units out, right? That would generate me income every single month. So that would be an asset. What's a liability buying a car just to be the freshest dude around buying a cool watch just to be the freshest dude around. Even though watches uh, could go up, they don't cash flow though. That's I'll make a whole nother video about cash flow, but uh, 
watches like this do go up and stuff however uh they don't cash flow you in the meantime and it could go down so if you really need to liquidate your money and get it out fast uh this wouldn't be the best option so we're still on rule number two the mindset right the millionaire mindset prioritizes assets over liabilities so that and that goes down to everything right not just consumerism like oh no i'm not gonna buy this coffee no it's i'm just gonna save some money not buy this coffee it's i want to spend this money it's good that's what stimulates the economy it comes back to you but you're gonna spend money on something that makes you more money and guys if you have any questions about this by the way please uh feel free to leave a comment in the uh comment section down below uh, i'm just doing this free ball free willy-nilly you know what i mean um but I just, it was just a spur of the moment thing so so yeah guys uh let me know in the comments down below if uh you have any questions all right so we're doing good we realized getting money building wealth it's all just a game and two we understand the mindset that it's going to take to get us there so three Find your high income producing skill, right? You need to have a skill that brings in a large amount of money. What are examples of that? Guys, I could go on and on and on with examples or what I think would be better for you guys is you go on Google and type high income producing skills, list of skills goes down and just go down each one, see which one resonates with you the most and try to replicate it, you know what I mean? A lot of those things that you may find on that list, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, I don't have any capital to start. A lot of those things uh, do not require capital to start. So, find your high income producing skill. But remember, we have the military mindset, right? We're not gonna just get all this income and fucking spend it all and do stupid shit with it. We're going to invest in assets to generate more money. Fuck addition and fuck subtra subtraction. And I don't even know what the vision is. We always need to multiply our money. Whenever we get money, I got this, two bands. Hmm, what should I do with this that could turn it into four bands? You know what I mean? I'll give you an example. I'll tell you what, guys, what I'm about to do with this. This two bands right here, not this other money. This two bands right here, I'm about to buy uh, one Ethereum with this. I'm going to have a little bit left over after that, like 500 left over. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, I'm going to buy one Ethereum with this right now. Ethereum is hovering. I can tell you guys right now what is Ethereum right now. It is about $1,600, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna buy one Ethereum with this. It's $1,600 right now. I believe that it's gonna go up to 5,000 later this year. So, 1,600 to 5,000, that's an easy flip. That's a more than a 2X. That's, that's like a 3X. So turn 2,000 into 6,000. Multiplication, it's all about multiplying your money, right? All right, the step you guys all have been waiting for, the final step, how to get your bands up. The final step, is the simplest step, but people don't want to hear it. People don't want to talk about it, but I'll, get, I'll give you guys the sauce. The final step is after we multiply our money, right? Invest into assets, get our high income producing skill, get that money, invest into assets, multiply the money. Our money has babies. What we do now that we have this increased income, right? Because we invested we're continuously building upon our high income skills, so we're getting more income. 
What we do now is very, very simple, but you guys don't want to hear it. Most people. It's called live below your means. Live below your means. What do I mean by that? You're making 100K a year now. Nice. So you want to go get a Beamer, go get a lease on a Beamer for like 15% interest rate because you have no fucking credit history. And then you want to go get a luxury apartment that's like $2,000 a month. Literally, you just fucking sliced your $100,000 a year into like, what are you going to take away? I don't know. Do the math for me. 50? Like, just those two decisions right there. And think about it. Is it really for yourself or is it to impress other people? Two decisions to impress other people. You probably make more than that in one day to impress other people. And your, half your stack is gone. Guys, the great Warren Buffett always says what he says, never lose money. What does that mean? Never lose your fucking stack. You never want to lose your money. Once you have it, you don't want to safeguard it and just save, save, save because there's a 0.001 interest rate on in savings accounts. You don't want to do that. So you have to, have to put it in an investment vehicle to have it grow. That is the only way to build wealth. So once you live below your means, like, hmm, I could afford this nice ass car, but damn, I'm just going to get this car that's half the price, probably more reliable because these foreign fucking Beamers and Benz is always fucking breaking and it costs an arm and leg to fix. Or you can get a Toyota that you never have to take to the shop that's half the price, gets you to and from work. You take that money that you would have spent on that shit, invested it, multiplied it, 4 x it, and now you're like, damn, I could buy a fucking, I could buy a duplex right now, right? Put two tenants in there. They're paying the mortgage for me. So I, the house is basically free. Plus, I'm getting a little bit extra on top of that from the rents. That cash flow that I'm getting from the rents could be my car note for the car that I did want to get. Like, let's say I wanted this new, uh, the Audi A6 that just came out. Shit, I want that. But the car note is kind of ridiculous. Damn, I'm going to have to work a couple hours overtime just to be able to pay the car note and the insurance. But oh no, wait, I got this income producing asset that's paying for my luxury. So that's what you guys want to do. You want to have your income producing assets, the dividends, the cash flow from your, whether it's your business or your investments, that is what you want to use to purchase your liabilities. Because we're all human at the end of the day. Of course, we want to get a nice car, nice house, go overseas, travel. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the only way you will build wealth and get your bands up. Guys, if you want any more detailed information, any questions, leave a comment down below. Shoot me a DM. Guys, if you want a more extra sneak sneak peek, like how you can make 10,000 in one day like I did today, ask my group members. Um, if you're interested in that, I do uh, have a group with pri uh, private mentoring. If you're interested in that, please uh, DM me on Instagram at Grizzly Guapo. So guys, it's all on you. You can change the destiny of your family's financial future. All you have to do is be disciplined. Like I said, the military mindset when I meant to say the millionaire mindset. But guys, it's your boy Grizzly Guapo. I'm out.